you've wanted to donate a piece of Chicago sports history, now is your chance. This weekend, items including this ticket of Michael Jordan's final game with the Chicago Bulls and Horace Grant's three-peat championship rings are all going up for auction. It's part of Heritage Auction's Summer Platinum Night Sports Auction. Chris Ivey, Heritage Director of Sports Auction, joins us now to, to uh, tell us more about it. Good morning. Good morning. Thanks for having me. Yeah, appreciate it. So let's start with some of this uh, Bulls uh, memorabilia. What are you expecting to get for them? Uh, well, there's a lot of amazing Bulls pieces. We'll get to that in a second. But I did want to start with this most expensive baseball card in the world. This is actually Mickey Mantle. The, the bidding is already over $8 million on this piece. So that's a world record in its own right. Um, this is the, one of the finest known examples in the world. We're really excited about it. It's one of the headliners of the auction. Wow, look at that. Gosh. How about uh, you have a Babe Ruth used bat? Yes, yeah, absolutely. Let, let, let's talk about, uh, we've got Mr. Cub right here. This is Ernie Banks's 1970 game-worn jersey here. This is a road jersey. It's the last year the Cubs wore flannel before they switched to the known knits. Um, and uh, Ernie Banks hit his 500th home run during his 1970 season, possibly wearing this flannel right here. Gotcha. All right, what do you got next for us? <laughs> Uh, well, let me take you over to the Babe Ruth bat that you mentioned. It's a beautiful piece. This is uh, this is a bat that Babe Ruth used between 1918 and 1922 when he switched from the Boston Red Sox, and then 1920 he came to the New York Yankees. What's great about this piece is Ruth actually signed it right here, and he gifted it to his Hall of Fame uh, teammate, uh, Frank Home Run Baker. It stayed in Frank Baker's family for decades until the early 1990s when it was sold to our consigners family. And this is the first time this bat's making its way to market. We're expecting it to sell for in the $2 million range. Dang. And a, a Babe Ruth uh, baseball card as well there? We do, we've got some, some Babe Ruth material. I'm gonna show you this wonderful Chicago related items here. We've got um, Michael Jordan rookie cards here. This is uh, his signed 1985 Nike rookie and then right next to it is a gem mint 10 example of his 86 clear rookie we expect this to sell for somewhere between 150 and 200,000. and then right next to that is something a really incredible piece this is michael jordan's debut ticket from 1984 where he made his uh his first where he played his first game with the chicago bulls against the uh, washington bullets at the time and this is the only known example that michael has signed so wow. we're expecting a lot of interest in that uh, i think the bidding's currently at 65,000. it could exceed 100,000 by the time the auction's over and um we have some amazing um, championship rings here. These are from the first three-peat from 1991, 92, and 93 championships that belong to Horace Grant. Uh, they actually come with letters of provenance from Horace, um, and he sold these rings to raise money for a charitable cause. So we're happy to have them here. Wow, how much and did those go for? Each one, uh, we're uh, estimated at 100,000 plus. Wow. So uh, currently one of them's at ni the 93 ring with the Red Bull there is currently at uh, 90,000 uh, hammer. And the other one is I believe around 75,000. So, I gotta know and, whose shoes those are next to them. <laughs> that's, you got a good eye. These are Michael Jordan's uh, college basketball shoes from his freshman year no at way. North Carolina. Oh, yeah, yeah. They're, they come to us from the student manager, a gentleman named Chuck Duckett, who was uh, the, the student manager of the team that season. And he still knows Michael. And Michael actually signed each of these sneakers on the heel. Uh, he was happy to do it because the, the proceeds, uh, half of the proceeds from this auction are going to North Carolina basketballs, which he still obviously is a big fan of and supports. So and it's before the year Jordans, obviously. That's Obviously. right. That's neat. A lot of right, cool stuff right, there. Absolutely. Um, again, the auction is this weekend. You can visit ha.com for more information. You can also visit uh, chrisivy.com. Follow Heritage Auctions on social media. Chris, thanks again. Absolutely. Thank you.